think he should stand and bang with this guy. I might pick at him from the outside, see how he feels. He's got a longer jab. Yeah. I mean, he's. He, I mean, he doesn't look like he has spectacular stand up, but. Yeah, but Caleb works his angle so much. Overhand, overhand right will split you. Yeah, I know. I'll be. I'll keep my guard tight and pick at him. That's see all how I'm he worried feels. about. I mean, I'm not. I mean, if you went in there 100 percent with no cuts, I wouldn't be worried about the it. Biggest fight. I think he's short. Cut. He's probably like five six. Yeah, I'll definitely have range on him. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I just put three guys into. Or they got three pro fighters now. They just got accepted to the Ultimate Fighter Season 11. Um, nice. So we're way behind. Hey, you, got, you guys got training soon, right? Yeah. All right, you, I mean, it's 856. You guys are going to be on the floor at 915. Help me out. Pat uh, came, called and, uh, you know, he was really interested in, in training with Ram. So he's he had already committed to the fight. And, um, you know, we said, yeah, we definitely would love to help you out. Brought him in here, met the guys. Started working with him. He's got a really strong wrestling game. If he if he clinches on you, he's going to take you down. Um, need to work his back game, his his tie box a little bit. But I think we're going to get through help him get through this first fight with us, and uh, then after start really tuning up his game. But he's only been with us for about a week, two weeks, I think four training sessions. But uh, kid's got a great work ethic, work ethic, and and uh, he's going to be a good addition to this team. So. <laughs> I have a heart attack, so I guess. How's that cut feeling? Not too bad. Well, hold your head still so I can get some video of it. It's honestly, it's probably about half the size it was uh, when I decided a headbutting Jagger's knee would be a good idea, so I can't complain too much. I'm in uh, blue and uh, what's the uh, new skin? It burns like fire every time I throw it on there, but I really can't complain. It's going away, and that's all I care about. I'm Jack, by the way, Pat, right? That's good news, man. I got a. I ain't getting in your door, bro. I'm going like this. I ain't getting in your door. Combat base, Pat. I'll save you. Here we go. You got it. Here we go. Here we go. Get back, James. There you go. Look That's your kryptonite, Pat. Try this. No, man, y'all just slip it in there real quick. Mm. Butterfly sweep, I think. Talking to side control is ludicrous. Your side control sucks. Not mechanically, I mean it sucks being in side control. <laughs> Basically. Hey man. Got bound up, it happened. Alright guys, any prayer requests before we take off? Yeah, we're fighting this weekend. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Two Injuries. Injuries. Oh, yeah. Any updates on your uh, niece? Um, no, she's she's still doing well. She she needs to do her therapy a little more, get more flexibility back in her neck. It's good work. It's yeah. good it's good work. Work. Yeah. Caleb's fighting for heaven's sake. Yeah. Caleb's, Man, Caleb's been in here like me and me and his teammates in his face right. and elbowing everything he can only, elbow. Only through pads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. surprised he's not elbowing drywall in his house. You don't know he's not. All right, Yep, I will. Dear Lord, thanks for the end of a good camp, a uh, good training session tonight. Uh, I'm hungry. He's asleep. So how do you, how do you think the fight's going to go? Well, I definitely see myself winning, uh, one way or another. I feel like, um, you know, from uh, the t time I spent training with uh, everybody at Ram and the coaches and the different uh, types of training partners we've got, I feel like I'm definitely a lot better rounded than this guy is. So we'll see. Things might have changed since uh, the footage I've got of him and what I know about him, but I think I can outstrike him. I think I can outwrestle him. I think I can submit him. So. 
We have, we have today. That's apps number two. everywhere. Man, they, Tim, they've heard about you, dude. I know. And they know your trouble. I can't get another ticket. And, and why not, Tim? <laughs> My fighting career will be pretty much over because I'll be working all the time. Well, I was studying to become a better student, you know. Two o'clock in the morning, there's no one on the road. Doing 58 and 35. Cop got me. That's my fault. But still don't think it was worth 170 bucks. I know next to nothing about Mr. Blakey, to be honest with you. Uh, it's kind of the joy of being an amateur fighter, but I saw one of his fights, I believe it was the day before yesterday, and that is about the extent of it. So how did you uh, meet Mr. McAllister over here? Um, <laughs> well, the first time I ever saw him, he was beating up a chubby kid in a park. <laughs> He's doing what he loves to do, so. So you're, you're supporting him in that? Yeah. Okay, so now what, what do you normally feel when he uh, hops in there? A little apprehensive? Yeah, I really just want it to be over as fast as it possibly can be. I feel like I'm going to have gray hair really quick. How do you feel about uh, Caleb's eye being split open by Jaggers a week and a half ago, and uh, him fighting with... Uh, it's definitely payback. He did kind of break Jaggers' nose. Well, it doesn't, doesn't look, kind of I mean, it doesn't look too bad anymore. When it did look really, like, all bloody and stuff, then I was a little nervous. Um, definitely have a little bit of added motivation, just because we had one of our guys lose to an guy uh, at the last event, so... It's always fun, fun fighting their guys, because you know they're going to come ready to go, and they're, they're always competitive. I don't know. I'm just ready to see Caleb just pretty much destroy someone. I mean, no, he's ready. We've been working him pretty hard. He's got one of the best work ethics I've seen of anybody on the team. Just, just no doubt, he's definitely gonna outwork this guy. There's, I, I just don't see it happening any other way. So. Fat man, how's the weight cut going, buddy? Hey man, I'm still over. How fat? I'm like a pound over. So uh, you get to what? Go out in the car and sweat it off? I'm uh, talk to Chris and then they'll give me the cash away. Is it eating time? It is very much eating time. You have no idea. Man, it's a relief to have that done. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. Holes in eight, two, one. Yeah. I've been sick for about two weeks before the fight. So, you have? Yeah, so I really haven't been training too much. Here we go, guys. Thank you. Good luck, man. Good luck. Give him a show. Yeah. I trained with MMA Institute. I've been training with them uh, for my three years and something, four years. So I couldn't ask to, to train with a better group of people, man. Everybody's like family, you know, and uh, it's just it's a really good group of, group of guys, man, guys and girls. I really want to go pro. You know, I got... Uh, high goals with this sport. Uh, I do pipe fit and sprink, put in sprinkler systems right now. The combination between that and the training sometimes overwhelms you. So I'd, I'd love to be able to do it to where I could do it full time or eventually start teaching and stuff like that, man. I, I really want to look at it as a, a long term career. You know, it's, it's a sport just like boxing or baseball or anything like that, you know, and uh, for the most part, uh, it's a really good group of people. Men, women, both in general, man, it's it's just really good good people. And I think sometimes it's uh, a little bit misjudged, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really have a game plan, you know. I love to stand up and bang. I don't mind the ground either, either or. Uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. I wish him the best of luck, you know. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll put on a good fight, a good show for the audience, man.